The Olympics are easily one of the biggest events in the entire world, mainly because it's the entire world watching. Representative athletes go above and beyond the call to try and do their best for their home nations and win a medal of either bronze, silver, or gold to prove that they are indeed one of the best athletes in the world at their sport. But with the pressure to win comes a desire to win at all costs, and that means doping, which has happened an incredible amount of times at the Olympics, as we'll show you. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 6. Tony Hansen Let's start with the 2008 Beijing Olympics, specifically with Tony Hansen and the Team Jumping Horse event. His team would go on to win the bronze medal, which should have been a big honor if he hadn't doped his horse to win. It's true, the Norwegian went and doped not just himself, but his horse to win over his competitors. But not in the way you think. It wasn't via drugs like HGH, rather it was via a pepper extract, capsaicin. If you're curious about how all that works, we'll explain. It's honestly very simple. You rub it on the legs of the horse, the legs become inflamed, and the horse is willed to jump higher so that it doesn't hit things and damage its legs, which obviously the horse doesn't want to do. Once it was found out what happened, Tony and his entire team lost their medals. Quite arrogantly, Tony later would go on and try to appeal the ruling of the revoking multiple times, and failed every time. He just couldn't accept the loss. Number 5. Heating up the luge If you were to look at the wide swath of Olympic events that you can compete in, you would believe at one point or another that there are some you just can't reasonably cheating if you're creative enough and have the resources to do it, which includes some of the more low-key events like the luge. Orton Enderlin was famous in East Germany during the 1960s because she was such a successful luger. When asked about it, she noted that her mechanical skills led her to victory and making sure her luge vehicle was perfect. But in the 1968 Olympics, she was caught for cheating. Specifically, she apparently heated up the blades of her luge craft so that she would go through the ice easier and thus go faster. Highly effective, but also highly illegal. However, because of the events of the Cold War and certain corruptions that were going on at the time, there is a prominent conspiracy theory that states that Orton didn't cheat. And it was actually a ruse to try and cast shade on East Germany, who was under the control of communist Russia. What a world! Number 4. Tanya Harding If you know figure skating history, you know about the legend and infamy of Tanya Harding. The day before the US Olympic Skating Championship, an attempt was made to break the leg of Nancy Kerrigan, who was considered one of the best at the competition and a shoe-in for the Olympics. The attack did fail overall and Kerrigan was eventually fully healed, but it was later discovered that Tanya Harding's ex-husband and her bodyguard hired the people to try to attack Kerrigan which obviously raised a major question. Did Tanya know about the attack? To be clear, there was no definitive proof that she knew about the attack or that she failed to stop it if she knew. That being said, she did hinder prosecution and had to take a plea deal to get out of jail, which she happily took. Of course, the cost of this was her skating career. She never got to go to the Olympics because of the dark shadow hanging over her head, though her legend did lead to an award-winning movie being made about her and she got to do Dancing with the Stars. So tell us if justice was served, okay? Number 3. Betty Heidler Betty Heidler should have been an inspirational story that the Olympics told in order to boost others up to try and be like her. And to be fair, she still is. She was bullied a lot as a kid, and it was through sports that she was able to find her self-esteem and confidence. She loved track and field events, especially the hammer throw with her record in that event is launching the object over 260 feet, which is incredible to think about. At the 2012 Olympics, she won bronze for her effort in the hammer throw, which was great, but apparently she should have gotten a better medal, as Russian Tatiana Lysenko, who won gold, was caught for doping. Later on, after the doping was exposed, she was granted the silver medal, which she admitted to be happy about, but it wasn't the same to her. Her story and inspirational tale was darkened because of someone else doping, and she never really got her time to shine. Number 2. Racing with the Bolt Usually, the event of sprinting isn't the most popular of things. That is, until Usain Bolt came around and became the fastest man in the world multiple times and winning a lot of medals. Don't worry, he's not the one who cheated. However, it was confirmed that his teammate, Nesta Carter, tested positive for doping in the 2008 Beijing Olympics. This was bad for Usain because he, 
with Carter and two others, won the medal for the 4x100 relay race. But due to doping, that was taken away, as well as his title for the triple, triple winner of winning three running events in three straight Olympics. This is the problem with doping in many respects, because while many feel it only affects one person, it doesn't. It can affect whole teams, whole countries, and even those who have done everything right, like Bolt, by not cheating. And yet, the doping continues, which goes to show just how driven some people are to win. Number 1. Marion Jones Marion Jones is another who should have been an inspirational story as well as a tale of peak athleticism, due to her being dominant in track and field as well as basketball. She won big in both sports. However, as you can guess, there are many rumors that she was doping, and though she fought those claims, she once got banned from competition for four years by missing a doping test. The verdict was overturned, and she went on to dominate the 2000 Sydney Olympics by winning five medals. Which should have been great, but doing that led to her being exposed as a true doping athlete. Also, because there was a federal investigation into her earlier, she lied to federal agents about her doping practices, and that resulted in her going to jail for six months. So in short, she cheated, she lied, and she paid the price. So there you have it everyone, a look at the Olympics and the athletes who felt they had to cheat to win, and got caught. Losing everything, bringing shame to your nation, and even hurting athletes who have done nothing wrong. What do you think of the ones who were confirmed to have cheated? Do you feel bad for those who are robbed of victory and glory? Do you think the Olympics will ever be drug free? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.